Hello. 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 So we're back in Spiral Nights. It's me, Jacob, and Bailey, multi Bayrock. Yeah. Uh, so we're in this, this Haven place, which you get to after you've done the uh, first set of missions. Well, no, you don't come here. You go like. Well, anyway, we'll show you where you start off. But in this video, I'm basically going to be taking Jacob and you guys around the different shops and other features like that in um, in Spiral Nights that I know about. There's probably a lot of others. <laughs> so yeah, if we want to start off, these are merchants. So if you just press attack, which is right mouse to browse goods. And this guy is a shield merchant called Kragen. Hello there, Kragen. And he has, uh, he has some birds on him. So you can buy different shields. You can buy a lot of different shields, which are quite good. There is... Shields are... Well, we explained that last time, but you just press X and it protects you for so long. And different shields protect against different element types. And the element types are, which we didn't explain last time, are fire, frost, lightning, shadow... Did I say fire? No. Well, fire... Um... That's basically what they are. That's yeah. There's probably a few more, but I'm not sure. So those are the elemental types, and they block in certain things. So this next guy here, Grieve. This is the armor merchant called Grieve. There's two different types of armor: helmet, helmets, and body armor. This guy is called Grieve. Grieve, yeah, Grieve. So the best thing you can buy from here is the scary mask. Mm -hmm. And the difference thing, basically armor, it's going to give you your health, like any extra health, and protect you from certain types of damage. So you can mix and match to be perfect against one type of enemy, if you know the enemy in the mission is going to be that. So if I'm going to fire one, I'm just going to get a, basically just going to paint, cover myself with water, and be naked. <laughs> Start getting some, rubbing some ba baby oil all over your chest and well, no, I need walking rocks. in there with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or oh, I can go across the board like a smorgasbord of cheese. Cheesy elements. Cheesy. <laughs> like a lightning cheddar cheese or a frosty dam. So if you want to come down here. Got a bit lost. This is the accessory forge. This woman will remove any like add-on items that you've equipped to yourself over the time so when you make when you make your character you have a you can have a customization option where you can put extra little add-ons to your beginning helmet and this woman will remove them if you do not like them you can also buy extra add-ons like even after you've finished making your character so this woman will remove them did she got a big sword or a pair of scissors? I'm not sure. Scissors. <laughs> a massive, massive pair of scissors. This is a machine. Some machines uh, vend goods. And this machine crafts things for you. So if you have a craft crafting recipe, then it will take the materials. I like, have none. <laughs> like you seen last time, out of your inventory. And it will make something. So that's why you need your materials. See, see what this woman is and this woman will sell you different different things for using mist energy this is why you need mist to buy you can buy things with mist or you can just play through the levels <laughs> that's basically it there yeah that's moving it on. moving on moving on don't know if she has a name not sure she's Brinks. just selling things for mist yeah, this is Brinks, the token trader. And he will sell you specialised items for tokens. And how do we get tokens? Tokens? Well... Well, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but... <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how you get tokens. Oh. But you can buy cool things like... Spiral HQ offers special items to select knights through the exchange of spe special tokens found within the clockworks. These tokens are often earned from defeating fierce boss monsters and a proof of the owner's bravery. 
So there, that's how you get uh, to. Well, it's that. Yes. Uh, and he'll sell you a bunch of cool things. There's some ancient plate armor here, a black and crest. This is like a rares shop. Yeah. Which you get. A fan of Vog. Well, pardon me for saying that. <laughs> so yeah, you, was... get, you can get kind of rares if you've killed bosses and get the uh, tokens which they drop, and then you can get some cool uh, armor and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Brinks. Got a cool looking helmet there. So if you want to come across here. Okay. Yeah. And to right click this person. Oh, well, this is just a person. No thanks, I'm not content. Right. Such amazing. No book. thanks, I go mean, away. No thanks, I'm not content. Not I'm content not knowing about such amazing bullshit. I mean things. <laughs> yes. And this old man up here, with one eye, is the unbinding smith. And he basically he unbinds items for you. I'm not sure what that means, but you have a, you buy an unbinding ticket off him, then you equip it with an item, and then you pay energy, and it will basically take it apart. I'm not sure what you can unbind, but apparently you can. Yeah, I'm guessing if you bind some stuff together or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. And this crazy looking guy called Punch. <laughs> also with an eye, except this time it's a different eye, but she's lost. Them two like just. Are jealous of each other because uh, of each other's eye. So I'm guessing this is actually how you bind items together. You can have items or whatever. And uh... well, no, this is punches the variant smith. And you buy an item, and he gives it a random variant, a unique variant. So maybe it changes its color or it gives it a special ability or something. I'm not sure. Basically, you put a variant ticket and an item. And it costs a lot of crowns for different tickets. That's kind of cool. Want to go up here? It's got a massive anvil, which is <laughs> kind of weird. And that guy is like test tubes and a uh, Tesla coil. <laughs> okay, I'm extremely worried now. If you want to go to this guy who has like a green banner and stuff, here's. Vitell, the great, uh, the general goods merchant, yeah, and he sells supply packs and recipes for for that crafting thing, which is down. Yep. Down there. And I don't know what the supply packs are. Oh, these are like these are materials. He sell these are like good materials, basically. And he also sells usable items like eyes, which can change the look of your character. And he also sells colours, so it will dye your items different colours for you. And I've just bought a frost gun thing, so if you come down here, I'll show the uh, recipe thing. Oh, and also, he can also send, he can also sell you the power of the gods to make you high, taller or smaller. <laughs> so Vatel is actually god. Uh, it says I have new recipes, click here, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, um is that the machine? Have a look. But what you do is, before you do that, you probably exit that, then you click your there chest. Go. You click your chest, your arsenal. Then you go down. <laughs> you seriously laugh at that. <laughs> uh, learn the first gun recipe, and you just click and you click learn. Okay. And now you. And now it's instilled this knowledge onto you. It has. So I just took, I just read like a whole manual on making such stuff in about five seconds. It's like it's like he's just jizzed. That book was just a thing of jizz that splurted onto your mind. And so it's going to cost me ten energy and two hundred crowns, and I more energy. And I have enough stuff, and I'm transmuting. I just got some achievements as well. So now. I have a frost gun. Ray, which you're probably gonna get in the next mission for free. <laughs> Pointless! So Yay. Yeah. And you can't trade it or sell it either. Joy. Right. So if you wanna come you go back up here, if you wanna come, Jacob. This guy's walk so funny. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, this is also another recipe machine. Yep. That sucks. 
Uh, I just okay. walked all the way down there. Wow. And that's... Is it? No, no. Of course not. Do we have two so more guys here? The Rickassel. <laughs> hey, Rickassel. He looks like he has a... Like a handlebar moustache on his sword. <laughs> he's got the eyes and then he's like... Rickassel. He's Mexican. And this guy is the guns and explosives merchant. So, you can buy some guns. And then there's different types of alchemists. If you look over them, then it... This is a thing of elemental, where like these guns do elemental damage. Well, it does it does elemental damage and it also causes like state effects, like freeze and fire burn? Why is he only willing to buy my stun gun for one crown? Because he doesn't want your stun gun. Too bad he's having it. <laughs> he <laughs> he's really like he's really a good trader because. He's bad. He buys them for one crown and then he ships them off for 150. <laughs> the frost gun's 3,000. He won't even buy mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you've probably, like, made it and forgot how to make it. So you've just, like, sell a tape. Like a, like a snow cone machine. <laughs> like a pistol. Like a Colt. Pistol. <laughs> you should be like, it's a frost gun. This is the blade merchant called Quillian. He has some more birds on him. He's got all the chicks around his shoulders. His chick magnet. Oh, his other name is the cock collector. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom item on the thing, it's called a wrench wand. And when I seen it, I thought it was called a wench wand. <laughs> it's like, it was the pimp cane back in the day, <laughs> the wench wand. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also the thwack hammer. Thwack. Even though it's a sword, not a hammer. Yes. And there's the cutter. Just to get that straight, yeah. That's pretty retarded. It's just called the cutter. What? Every other sword doesn't cut things, but this one does. <laughs> get your new cutting sword there. <laughs> With cutting edge technology. The cutter. <laughs> Buy your cutter today. If you only come down here, there's actually more shit. Yay! It's a broken robot, and he's trying to fix him. And he has like end conversation. End conversation. This guy's like freaking out. He's like overdosed on heroin. These are birds. Oh, you just waved at them. What? Just... Your character just wait. How you... how did you do that? I was just talking to that guy accidentally, and he just looks waved. like you waving at them. <laughs> Watch. Watch how I speak to them. I wonder if it waves. Does that wave? Yeah. Hello, birds! Hello! <laughs> We're so entertained. And that's basically it for the bazaar. Yep, and that's this part of the uh, town. So now we're off into the town square. <laughs> Screams. Do, 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 do. Do, if you look at the bottom, it says Haven and a number. Basically, because there's so many players online from around the world, they separate people into different havens. They're so, exactly the same, aren't they? No. Like, Haven 1 to 7 is for English players, and then, like, say, like, Haven 12 to, like, 17 could be German, or something like that. So, if we want to start here... But, like, the map's the same. And, thanks, I'll go see what's inside. Fucking no way. It's the advanced training hall. I haven't been in here, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, look. These things, these birds now look like they have sweatpants on. They do have sweatpants on. <laughs> pump, pump the jam. <laughs> Can't touch us. <laughs> no, these birds. Whoa, power cables. Whoa. Oh, you ran off without me, you dick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. I just love my frost gun. Conway. Sure, where should I start? No thanks, I'll explore the place myself. Yeah, you faggot. Yeah, faggot. Oh, well, we could have came in here for the explanation. Ah, oh, damn it. This is a heart generator, and these are health. Oh my god, look at this bird, he's wearing a sweatband. Pump, pump the jam. That's kind of cool. And those are those give you free help capsules, and those are vitapods. Wow. Yeah. So this is basically a better explanation than ours. 
<laughs> I didn't know this existed. <laughs> Damn. So if you just want to walk across all them and let people pause them if they so desire to read uh, it. Yeah. But we've basically explained most of this. Yeah. And we can actually train in here if you wish. I can't check them. Oh no, it's for vials, Jacob, you silly. These are the di you can pick up all the different types of vials, Jacob. You go down that side, pick up all them for vials. Hoop. So, what's that vial do? Shock. <gasps> wow. Now what? Now we'll go for the next one. Hoop. Stun! And we've par we've made them all paraplegic. <laughs> um, and the next one. And the next one is Frost. Just and my gun. Is Look, kind of cool. And um, what's this vial that I have? Sleep! He's now asleep even though he's a robot. And this one is poison! Die. Last one. It's orange and yellow. I wonder what it is. Ice cream! No, it's fire. <laughs> and this one. It's all red. If fire was orange and yellow, what's this one? Well, this one is. Curse! It basically stops them from attacking and it does damage on hit. That's kind of cool. And these are the different types of blocks. You can just slice that thing and it just gets destroyed. These are unbreakable blocks. These are the ghost blocks I was talking about, which just destroy just everything. And break. Cut this and it blows you up. And this is a timer one. Tick, 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 tick. Al Qaeda! <laughs> and this is just lots of them put together. Block interaction. These blocks can have different effects on each other, causing a knock on effect like this. Get through to this part of the room. Oh, Bailey could just get trapped in there. <laughs> yeah. These are crystals which just get broken. Uh, and these are arsenal stations, apparently. I'm not called anything else. Throwable objects. What's this do? It's a pumpkin with fire. And it just set the floor on fire. Woo! Beautiful! <laughs> Because I flung it at the wrong display. That, that, that sets things on fire, we haven't seen that yet. And does this put it out? Oh, no. It just throws shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! The place is covered in shit. Uh, these are all different switches and buttons. And uh, hitting the switch can be done by shooting or hitting. Shit! <laughs> 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 oh, I like that one. And then you can stand on buttons which also do the job. Um, and then switches can open and close doors. And you can also throw shit at them. Yes. <laughs> mm. Yeah, if you throw vases at um, switches like that, the twisty ones, it will also activate them. Using your shield. You have to use your shield. I'm getting harassed. You you actually take damage in here, Steven. I'm Jacob. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need crisis. Oh, look. <laughs> it's just because our friend Steven is now playing Black Ops 2. So this was a great explanation for what I didn't do. And these showed the different types of damage, I believe. These are spikes. That hurt people. Hurting is bad, kids. Hurting is bad. Hurting is very bad. Jacob, come over here. Jacob, like, go stand on the, go stand on the pad. Go stand on the pad. Wrong pad, you fag. Oh. Yeah? And that's stabbing you. Status traps. We haven't seen these before. Let's go have a look. And these show like the different icons. So this is poison. Using your shield can block from these. Pretty cool. And then the shield breaks. Shock because has little Teslas. And this is freeze. It shows you the icon above, and I wonder if this is the marshmallow maker. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. no. And I'm just gonna go get some hearts. So yeah, that's... That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good explanation. Explanation, yeah. And we, <laughs> we did not know that was there. <laughs> where, where are we off to next then? Well, no, that would just explain the full game to them. Not sure how to get out. We have to run across the traps, Jacob! Oh no! There's a there's a road at the bottom where you can just walk without getting stabbed. Uh, 